Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and I'm here with another candle review for y'all. So today's candle is Country Candles Sanctuary. So this is a part of Kringle and Country Candles new fall line with 16 new fragrances. This is one of them. Uh, recently I reviewed a few other of the Country Candle ones and I'm about to get to dive into the Kringle ones this September. Uh, this is my second to last one of the countries to review, and uh, it's a very complicated and different scent. So this one might be a little hard to review, but I will try my best. Um, but before we get started, I am a Kringle and Country Candle influencer, which means you can use my code Connor Loves Candles at checkout to get 15% off. And more information is on that down in the description box, and you can also find the link to shop Kringle and Country Candle. But let's get into the candle. So it is a two wick paraffin candle. That's what the country line is, if you did not know. I have had this one burning for about four hours now and um, it's been burned multiple times. I'm about halfway done with it. Um, I really like this one. It's got a nice red wax. The picture's really, really pretty. It's kind of like a picture of a canoe with some leaves falling on the ground next to a body of water. Um, these country candle um, photos are really pretty. I like how they have the silver outline covering the photo. That's really nice. All right, let's get into the scent notes. So the scent notes are top notes of orange, sorry, Valencia orange, warm spices, mid notes of Haitian veveter and patchouli leaves, and then base notes of vanilla bean and frankincense. And then also the scent story, which is really cool that Kringle does. The scent story is a dark and warm sensual with a blend of sweetness and smoky tobacco leaves. This scent delivers an exotic character. And then we already talked about the notes. So um, this is a very different type of scent. So to me, it kind of smells like a spicy, juicy citrus scent with some nature to it. Um, so the top notes of orange, I definitely get that orange citrus vibe to it. Then it also has some spices, so maybe some cinnamon, um, maybe a little bit of like clove or nutmeg. Um, and then the mid notes are Haitian Vevitor. Uh, I do get a Vevitor smell to it, kind of like nature-y. Then patchouli, uh, there's a little bit of patchouli to this one. It's not too much. It's not like a really dirty patchouli, but it's definitely a nature patchouli scent and then the base notes of vanilla bean and frankincense so the vanilla i don't get as much um it might just be to sweeten the scent up but i do get a lot of frankincense in this one it is mainly a frankincense scent to me it kind of smells like a frankincense scent with some spice and some citrus in the background and then a little bit of patchouli and like some earthy notes in there but I would say the main note in here is frankincense. And frankincense is a very different type of scent. You don't usually see frankincense in candles. I actually can't even think of a scent or a candle that has frankincense in it. I know like frankincense essential oils, they're really good for healing and they can heal like blemishes and different things, but that's the essential oils. But I've never seen a candle company really use frankincense in a candle for aromatherapy. So anyways, if you have this one and you've burnt it, let me know down in the comments how you liked it. Uh, it's definitely a different type of scent. I would try it out. You can use my code Connor Loves Candles to get 15% off. And again, more information on that is down in the description box, plus where you can shop country and kringle candle but thanks for watching until the end of the video like and subscribe to help support my channel and i will see you guys in the next one bye